Is it going to stop or is it going to go around them? Impressive. Is it going to stop, go around it? Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to be testing the Tesla versus cones as per this comment and this comment. Actually loads of people asked, how does the Tesla react to cones? So we're gonna test it with autopilot on, with traffic aware cruise control and with nothing on and we'll see, will it go round cones? And we've got several cones over there and beautiful Holly putting them out for us. Shout out to Holly. Make sure you hit the like button guys if you wanna see more of this. And also thank you to all the patrons who have been able to give me enough money basically to go buy loads of cones. I've actually got 25 cones coming uh, and we're going to basically use them and see if we can create something pretty cool so shout out to all the patrons all right let's give this a go shall we so hopefully we'll get autopilot working on this road yeah there you go and we're going to see what does it do with this cone the cones there yeah there you go you can see it and it's evaded it it's gone around it and it's carried on going straight so perfect it did exactly what we expected the car to do uh, and that was actually a really good result I'm going to try coming back on the other side of the road as well, and we'll see how it reacts to this. I'm going to let autopilot speed up, and we'll see, will it go around the cone? So, yeah, you saw that it actually evaded the cone very, very slightly there at the end. Uh, actually, pretty impressive maneuvers. We've made a tougher test here, and Holly's put out two cones. So let's see how it reacts to two cones in front of us. Is it going to stop, or is it going to go around them? impressive very impressive car it went all the way around them let's see what happens actually if we just autopilot all the way to the end okay i think that would have just gone all the way that actually felt like that would have just carried on i mean it yeah strange let's give this another whirl then so she's put the two cones out and let's see if it does it on the other way as well so again hands completely off the wheel as you can see we're gonna see okay so interestingly enough there it actually went over the cones and then it stopped it braked and everything and then it continued to go back over them let's see the damage of the cones um and let's actually have a little talk to holly and see what she saw there it literally just ran straight over the cone but did it did it hit the cone you know when it came to a stop yeah did it touch the cone yeah. or did it did it stop and then it continued past the cone it stopped and then continued over it. So Okay, so what I think happened is it saw the cone and when it got so close to it, it then lost the cone. And then so I think the car, yeah, so I think the car continued to accelerate. Okay, let's add a third cone out and try that. The reason I also really wanted to test it on this road is you can see there's no middle line marking. So the car has all of that space and all of the ability to go around the cones if it can and if it, if it wants to. Let's see again what happens here. I'm assuming with what we saw before, it's actually not gonna go around them and it's just going to go into them at this point. Again, braking, braking, braking. Now again, I think because, oh, oh, and then, strange. It's, uh, it's decided then to go straight over said cone, and when it goes over the cones, for some reason, it actually takes them with us, which is really, really odd. Let's get this cone out from underneath us. Thanks, doll. So you can see that we did squash the cones again uh, and Holly has been able to retrieve the one from under us. So these cones are actually foldable cones. So the idea is when we hit into them, they actually can fold and they won't do any damage to the car. Let's try this one more time then from this angle and we'll see how the car reacts to it this time. Are we gonna hit these cones? Are we gonna go over them? And you can see, so the car does, oh, that's actually slowing itself down. Yeah, so, yeah, so it does do a hard break and everything. Was that good? Oh, it just touched it, Holly said. So as you can see, again, it's actually doing really, really well. But if you don't, re if you don't react and you don't re retaliate, the car, I guess, thinks that there's nothing else in front of it. So it just continues going once it's already slammed on and reduced any impact and any damage. So that's actually pretty good. Sorry, can you do it in like a, like a, a 45 degree line coming out as if like, you know, go around this. Like, so stagger them, put that one. Yeah, coming out, yeah. I just want to see then if it'll go almost around it. And then can you stand on the yellow line in the road? This time we're pretending basically as if Holly is a worker on the road and uh, she's put cones around her. And we're just going to see, will it go around this or will it react differently? Yeah, you can see it's definitely evading around the cones, which is really good. And then getting itself back in lane as well, which is really nice to see. So I'm going to bring this down to 10 miles an hour and I'm going to keep on going to the end of this road just to see if it will slam on. So it knows that it's the end of a road. No, look at that. So it just aborts. It wasn't stopping, by the way. When it aborted, it didn't slam on and abort. It actually was continuing to drive. So um, I'm a little bit surprised about that, I've got to say. This time I'm going to test it out on just traffic aware cruise control. And if I keep it still going at the cones and pretty close to Holly, will it react? 
No, look at that. It didn't react at all on Traffic Aware Cruise Control, and I actually had to do the dodging and weaving around. So interestingly enough, Traffic Aware Cruise Control maybe isn't working with cones. Let's put all the cones out in the road again and try Traffic Aware Cruise Control on it just one time. Also, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I'm going to do this again on the weekend, and I'm going to swap cones out for people or something a little bit cooler. So make sure to hit the like button if you want to see that. Okay, so Traffic Aware Cruise Control, uh, we're going to put on here, and I'm going to put it at 23 miles and 20 miles an hour, let's go say, and we're just going to see, I'm not going to stop for the cone. No, as you, as you can see there, the cone completely annihilated. The car didn't stop for it at all, which is again so strange. If the car knows that there's a cone there, why is it not stopping? You know, even though it can, it can clearly see it and it can clearly drive around it uh, by itself, there, for example, it didn't. Oh, right, let's go one more time. Here we go, the last chance, everyone. We're gonna do autopilot one more time and we'll see, we'll see its ability here. Is it gonna stop, go around it? Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. All we did was destroy the cone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Until next time, don't forget, watch out for cones, drive safe. And to those of you who have stayed past the credits, we are gonna do a little bit of autopilot on the way home on these treacherous roads. And I've got Holly here who's going to talk us through the cone scenario and what she saw. So Holly, give us a, a rating out of 10 for, for the cone scenario. What, 10 being bad or 10 being good? 10 being it did well. I'm gonna say probably a seven. A seven, okay. I saw the car mow down the cones a few times. Yeah, so basically I used autopilot at the start and that's when it reacted better and quite well to the cones. Yeah, yeah. Traffic aware cruise control, which is where it reacts to cars, it should stop for people and stuff. It completely ignored the cones. Yeah. And I honestly think that it doesn't react to cones at all unless you are on autopilot. I just don't think it's gonna stop the car. No, no, I don't think so either. But also, did you see that when you had two out, it would go around it, but when you put three out, it didn't actually try and go all the way around onto the other side of the road, and it, it in fact it, stopped. It probably thought the car could dodge it, Yeah. and go through the middle, when really it was just mowed it down. And then... Yeah, and then as soon as it got close enough every single time, it just completely destroyed the cones within seconds afterwards, because it was like, oh, the cones disappeared under the car, so I can just go again. It, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. Just keep going. The cone is down. So. Holly also isn't the biggest fan of autopilot. She's um, She hates it really when I test it and I'm in the car. So can we do this a little bit or? Oh, I know this bit goes quite windy. So this bit down here goes very, very windy. I have done it before. I'm gonna bring it down to 50 miles an hour. I have done it at the 60 miles an hour and it's taken us all the way to the junction down at home. You're crazy. Thank you, thank you. So let's give it a go and see how we do here. And hopefully we can give some confidence to Holly in the full self-driving system. I say that with um, a big bag of salt next to me. I do self-drive, I just wouldn't self-drive on a country road. No, that's understandable. Because there's just too many obstructions. There's potholes, there's horses, there's people, there's cyclists. Sure. And the moment as well, like self-driving, you do have to be more aware than just driving. Yeah. So I think most people do question it. It's going a bit wide here. <laughs> So you'll notice there, it actually didn't slow down for the corners, whereas here, for these corners, it will bring itself all the way down to about 25 miles an hour now, whereas previously, it used to tackle this at whatever speed you set. <laughs> uh, and I've nearly hit this hedge many times. You can see oh, it still goes slightly oh wide. Oh my God, we nearly bumped the hedge. Well, but we didn't. And you can see they, oh, hello, big lorry. Oh my No problems there for the Tesla. It's braking oh, for us. Oh. Again, that's, that's it. So that pothole on the left, we would have, dodged it we would have evaded it mm -hmm. the car isn't quite there yet i do believe it can see potholes and kind of dodgy areas on the road and maybe in the future it will learn to dodge those things but at the moment you can see it's currently not oh it's popped yeah my ears popped as well previously we had loads of issues down here because of the foliage it made different lighting effects and stuff and sometimes made it really hard to see but we've got a nice clear day today and yeah doing well did you expect it to do all this bit on its own yeah Oh. Um, it's just the corners, they're quite tight, so yeah. I didn't know if it was just going to try and ram it at the speed it was... Again, so this here is the hardest S-bend that I really know around here, and you can see, feel that, how it's breaking us down yeah, yeah. so yes. early. And it does feel like a learner driver, yeah. but, okay, 20... 27. 25, I think we get to, oh, 24, 23, this is a new low speed limit for this corner. And again, as you can see, it's doing this all by itself really really nicely but i mean if you were if there was no windows right and 
you were just doing your own thing, you were playing on your Nintendo, and you didn't have to drive. Instead, this was your way home. I wouldn't mind going 25 around the corners. Oh, no, definitely not. So that's what I'm saying. At the moment, it is bringing it a lot slower, and it really annoys other road drivers. But even here, you can feel it slowing down. You felt how it slowed. You feel that yeah, slowing yeah, down, for slowing this corner, down for this corner. Still slowing down for it, going round really nicely. But you've practiced on this road quite a lot, haven't you? So it's obviously remembering. Yeah, I have practiced on the road a lot and definitely roads that are more used by autopilot, it slows down for the corners because I assume it's taking data from the fleet. But this still amazes me at this area. It's it will continue to, to speed giveaway. and it will not stop. It will not slow down. Oh my God, we need to stop. We're doing 50 to a giveaway. Oh, do, you, do you see what I mean? I don't understand why it does that. In the, so in the videos, that was a very natural reaction actually to that. But in the videos, it doesn't seem like I'm going fast and braking hard. You just but drove I really, I really into am. a giveaway. Yeah, but obviously we broke hard, uh, braked hard for it. So that's why I'm saying is that it's that kind of area where people think, oh, it's if it can do corners, it's definitely going to stop at the end of the road. It, if, and if, it didn't do that at the industrial estate. You know, when I got to the end, mm -hmm. I tried it a couple of times and it was continuing at that speed and it aborted about five meters towards the edge and I had to slam on. Do you think it's because in England we have giveaways rather than a stop sign and the yeah. car doesn't re doesn't realize it needs to stop It's at the end of a road? Definitely. So at the moment we're waiting for 2020.20.13, which should bring us stopping at stop signs and traffic lights. But I don't know what that means for yielding because in the UK we yield here. Uh, rather than potentially, well, actually, we don't really have any stop signs, do we? No, no, we rarely have stop signs. So we, we rather yield. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little talk on the way home and some autopilot. Again, thank you guys. Thank you guys, whoever's watched it all the way to the end here. Thank you, Holly, for helping us out with this video so, so much. Uh, and let us know down below in the comments what you want to see. Again, a shout out to all the new subscribers and our new patrons. They're all in the description. And if you want to help, there's no pressure, uh, but the support is much appreciated and means I can go out and buy 100 cones and do some stupid stuff, which will be really fun. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe. <laughs> I shouted it because I didn't know if you were going to say it with me.